All right, game uh, three, we're two and zero. Let's see if we can keep the win streak going. This hand seems like it's uh, in a good position to do so. So let's uh, see how this unfolds. Swift Spear, of course. Sometimes there's some merit to, if you know they're on a deck with uh, two damage burn spells, to holding up Lightning Bolt to protect Monastery Swift Spear. But most of the time, I think that's uh, being a little too conservative. All right, so I'm going to go for the light up the stage. And I'm not going to play land first, so if I reveal land, I can play it right away, which I do. Uh, that way, if I draw another light up the stage next turn, um, I can play uh, I can play potentially two lands off of that. Yeah. Uh, so, do I actually have the win here? I have seven damage off of burn, and again four triggers. So that's um not quite well actually. But if I put my opponent down to one, it's almost like a land destruction spell. Seems pretty powerful. But uh, I am guessing my opponent has path to exile. Considering that my opponent can't wrath next turn, and um, detention sphere won't blow me out because I've got all these different creatures. I mean the only card that really blows me out will be Engineered Explosives, but I, I think my opponent's on a control deck. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lead with Firebolt. I don't think I'm going to go all out with the Lightning Bolt. I am expecting to eat a path. Uh, or for one of my spells to get um, Mana Leaked. And the Blister Quill next turn should make it very difficult for the opponent. Oh, maybe a Coatl once again. Oh, no. Maybe I will go all out, I mean. I mean, if they're on Uro... Yeah, also, also they put themselves in a position where they can Wrath next turn. I'm going to go for it. Obviously, the... Uh, Dynamic has changed with um, with them on four lands now. Next turn, most likely. Okay, well they, they jumped the gun and they path here, uh, or or not. Um, you know what I'm gonna do actually. I'm gonna flashback Lava Dart right now. And they, you see, if they path, I I still end up. Um, about in the same spot, but that way, now actually, if I Lightning Bolt, they're at two. They're at two, but I'm expecting an Uro next turn. See, the dilemma here is that uh, Lightning Bolt would, um, would put them down to two, which is better if they have a Wrath, but Blister Coil is better if they have Uro. I think it's more likely that they have Burrow. But the good news is, is that I can put them down to one even if they do have Wrath. Uh, that makes it so that the only way I'm truly punished in, in many ways is if they have Wrath and Burrow. In which case, um, even Lightning Bolt probably wouldn't have done it. Because Burrow would have put them back up to five. Firebolt next turn wouldn't have done it by itself. Obviously I could have drawn another Burn Spell, but I can still draw another Burn Spell even if they wipe the board. I uh, st still like the position, but that's the power of Growth Spiral, is uh, now I'm facing a lot more problems. Yeah, everybody seems to be playing Uro nowadays. I can't say I'm surprised by this. Well, 
if they play only top lands, I'm, I think I'm heavily favored to win. Um, if they do counter to Lightning Bolt, though, they could live at one, and that could be a problem if they have another green source. They've got Force of Negation. Uh, if I do draw another burn spell, though, then that should just be GG. Hmm. Well, it's not exactly the burn spell I was hoping for. But the good news is, actually, uh, I think this should still do it, because here's what I can do. I can Firebolt them. This goes to a 2-3. Lightning Bolt them. This goes to a 3-4. And then I can Flame Slash my own Soul Scar Mage. I don't think they've got red, so I don't really see myself getting punished. And that way, even if they force a negation, I should push through just enough damage. Of course, if they got another Path to Exile, then this just wasn't meant to be. But I think this puts us in the best position to win. I'm smelling a Force of Negation here. If they got Force of Negation and Path to Exile, then like... Again, they had this. They never didn't have it, so to speak. Although, I don't know, actually, they'll have to take 3 damage. Yeah. There's the Force of Negation. Good thing we uh, drew the Flame Slash. Although, actually, they put themselves in a situation where... Yeah, maybe they jumped the gun on that. So let's assume, assume they path. Um, they have to take 3. So I'm not so sure I need to blow the Flame Slash. Yeah. Alrighty, well that was nice to take game one off of Uro. I, I'm actually leaning towards Uro being possibly slightly favored in game one, and that's mainly because I don't always have hands as a crazy aggressive as that. I mean, just imagine an alternate universe where I keep a more grindy hand that has like one creature and season Pyromancer, or, um, you know, or no turn one creature and light up the stage, you know, playing to a light up the stage on turn two. I, 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 think, I think they easily take that. And since I can't know for sure what my opponent's on, um, a lot of times I will keep hands like that in the blind. So, uh, yeah, I think Uro is probably at least slightly favored in game one, um, precisely because I can't always count on having starts as aggressive as that. Uh, but definitely stealing game one is huge because I do think we are, uh, we're, 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 I think we're pretty solidly favored in games two and three because Blood Moon and Relic make things so difficult for them. Uh, Flame Slash I'm going to take out because I, I think it's just better to play towards keeping them off row with Blood Moon and Relic. And um, between it's between Firebolt and Lava Dart here, and I think it's going to be Firebolt just because as we saw last game, uh, Lava Dart just uh, can dish out so much damage. I mean, in many ways, in many ways, actually, Prowess is kind of like a combo deck, where Lava Dart is sort of like the... Um, the combo enabler, in a way. It's like prowess creatures plus lava dart, almost like a combo. Well, you know, um, just like last time, I I'm, I'm going to be arguably greedy and I'm going to keep this. The relic does a lot of work in this matchup. And uh, actually, in this hand, I think even has a light up the stage where I don't think the previous one did. Uh, of course, the other one had two prowess creatures, but... Yeah, I think there's just there's just a lot of upside to this, and there's another land. The Horizon lands are not gonna probably punish me too much in a control matchup. So the good news is I I think the play is hmm. the worry here is if they counter the relic. Uh, believe it or not, even with the hand looking as strong as it does, especially with this draw of Swiss Spear. Um, Uro can still crush it, possibly. Although it does have two lightning bolts. Let's possibly keep them off Uro, at least for a turn. <sighs> they would need mana leak exactly, and they might just as well be leaving up Gross Spiral. Yeah, I'm going to take the greeting line here. Um, and the reason why is because I, I do at least still have an out to Uro. And they might also mana leak this. You know, it was actually probably correct to just lead on this with one mana. Would have incentivized them more to mana leak this. 
but it looks like they're going to mana leak it anyway. That works for me. I, I'd much rather them mana leak this than a uh, relic, frankly. Engineered explosives, of course, would still be a beating. The Uro decks used to play that for a while, I remember. As were always, uh, always frustrating to play against. But it kind of doesn't look like that's going to be the case here. Let's see if they crack the flooded strand preemptively. They do not. So I've got some choices here. Um, I could go for the attack, play light up the stage next turn, which I think I will do because if I draw another one drop creature like another blister coil or a soul scar mage, um, I want to be able to cast that this turn. There's a growth spiral that we uh, intuited they had, which I guess they had spiral and mana leak. And the good news is, even if they crack these, it still turns on spectacle. So they might have another mana leak. Um, so it is what it is. Looking like they do. Still think we're in okay shape. Kind of annoying because that that would have helped out a lot but as you can see though the power of relic here is that I, unless they slam it to fairy in which case i do think we have enough burn to deal with it they do seem to rely on her quite a bit and uh it's not looking like Earl's gonna happen I find it odd that they went after this land instead of the untapped one. Because now I can Bone Crusher at end of turn with impunity. Whereas uh, I may not have quite felt comfortable with firing it off earlier. One, two, three, four, five. I think I probably have to crack Relic, but I think I can afford to do to make that decision next turn. Hmm, definitely punishing. Punishing that. And I'm going to crack it now. Just too much of a chance that they... Throw another card. Yeah, this could have been a good game. It still might be, though, frankly. Yeah, in retrospect, actually, there's probably a lot more upside to cracking Relic at end of turn. Well, let's see, I could fire off two Lightning Bolts. But now we're in uh, Field of Dead territory. I don't see a lot of upside to firing off the Lightning Bolts just yet. Problem with attacking here is they're going to create a zombie. Well, let's see if the Blood Moon sticks. If not, cracking that relic on my turn might have been. Yeah, that was a uh, that was the game losing mistake there, most likely. So there's a number of different options here, but going for Bone Crusher is probably the best. I was thinking to play Season Pyromancer, but ditching the burn spells just just doesn't seem right. Oh, 
I'll take the land. I mean... I'll just play it out. Not feeling too terrifically good about this. They could always have Growth Spiral. So we know they got a Cryptic Command. I'm going to play Season Pyromancer first. So it helps me decide what to do. I draw a hasty creature. Yeah, they not surprisingly counter, but that's that works for me. Actually, I think that might even be the best for the best, because um, that means the next Season Pyromancer is max value. Two zombie tokens. It's that's the most frustrating thing about Field of the Dead, is uh, how fetch lands give you two zombie tokens off of it. I think if it only gave one zombie token, it'd just be a little less obnoxious. But uh, what can you do? Well... Well... You never know. Uh, I think the play here... See, they have three zombie tokens, so that's the problem. And this isn't quite lethal all by itself, but... I do have four. Prowess triggers. No, actually, they only have two zombie tokens. So let's see. If I dart in flashback and kill a zombie, then that means I'm dealing exactly lethal. Or well, actually, I'm dealing 11. Hey, gotta go for it, right? Actually, I think I'm gonna lead off with Lightning Bolt because the Lava Dart would be lethal anyway. This way I... Now nah, I'm going to lead off with Lava Dart. I can still cast Season Pyromancer if for some reason something happens. Uh, although I think just the Lightning Bolts is definitely not ideal. So see what happens. Obviously the play here is to crack Flooded Strand for a zombie token. Okay. Zap the zombie now. The ideal play for them would be to definitely path their own zombie if they could to get another one and to ramp them. <sighs> yeah. The reason why I'm holding back is that if they have a cryptic command, I can uh, untap my blister coil, which they see. And I think this is lethal. Uh, no, it's it's close. It's close. It's not lethal, though. But it's very close. Yeah, let's push them down to one. I mean, let's see. I uh, I think that is about as good as I could have hoped for. Maybe Season Pyro helps too. I don't know. I don't know. This That had to have been a good development. Well, Teferi is a little problematic, but I think I just have to go for the kill here. They got the counter, they got the counter. Yeah, of course. Uh, I don't know if they return this to the hand, but it feels like they always they always have it. Um, I don't see the uh, I don't see the mer I don't see really like how it benefits me to hold back. I highly doubt I'm gonna get blister coil revved up enough. This also makes it less likely that they can somehow remove my guy and swing for lethal on their end. <sighs> command. 
feels very obnoxious uh, to uh, play this matchup, but you know, I don't know. Still might get there. Who knows? I think I am. Ooh. Well, force him to have a counter spell. Uh, although countering bouncing my guy seems most likely, but I mean, I probably should have attacked first because then they might have bounced it and then Blood Moon might have got them. But I'm just worried about Growth Spiral and them eating my Soul Scar. That would be terrible. Fourth Cryptic Command. I gotta get a ton of ton of tokens. That's probably gonna be a good game. I wonder if I would have drawn a burn spell, and I, I know, know, knowing their luck, probably I, they would have had. Oh, well, let's see, land. Hmm. Knowing their luck, they probably had force negation though. But you know, I don't know. Actually, they would have needed force negate force negation exactly. Interestingly enough. Yeah, and also we would have won if we would have uh, cycled the uh, relic at end of turn. Would have drawn an untapped land, slam blood moon. They might have had force negation, but. Didn't seem like uh, at the time. Once again, an aggressive hand, but without Relic, I don't know. That said, this is very tempting, because I just don't think I can, though. Because if I play all these one-drop creatures, and I don't have another land, it just won't get there. But this is very close. If it had Relic, I would keep it for sure. Well, a lot less pressure, but uh, we saw the Power of Relic last game. I don't think Lightning Bolt is shaping up to be that good in this particular hand. They might even force a negation this. Pressure to burn. I can always slam season pyromancer if they if they counter it. Probably going for bone crusher this turn. Yeah, going for bone crusher. <sighs> Might need the white mana for field of ruin. To season Pyromancer or not to season Pyromancer, that is the question. Well, obviously I think season Pyromancering is the is the play here. The question is what to ditch. I just can't quite bring myself to ditching um Monastery Swiss beer. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to ditch the Swift Spear, actually, and the Sunbaked Canyon, because I, I think I just really need to draw another Relic. So I really like uh, having access to more Season Power Mancers. see. Grow is a problem. Oh, believe it or not, I'm much happier to see timely reinforcements than Uro. Alright, I'm going to lead on Season Pyromancer. I'm actually going to ditch the Lightning Bolt, believe it or not, because uh, Lightning Bolt and Lava Dart. 
just doesn't seem to be as good here specifically. So, nice. All right, I'm going to attack. I mean, token for a token, plus uh, Seasoned Pyromancer is value out of the grave. They seem to be uh, mana screwed, which has got to be good for us. Um, yeah, is it Blister Four? I mean, they could play a Wrath, but if they do, then the Blood Moon might resolve, which has got to be good too. I'm not too afraid of Teferi, although that can bounce the um, Blood Moon. If they get to three loyalty. Uh, main, so mainly for that reason, I think I have to get the Teferi off the table. So I will attack it with enough creatures to ensure that one will connect. I think they probably will block the tokens. Yeah, that makes sense too. See if they, uh, nope. Um, definitely like the chances here now. I think I'll play another Blood Moon too. I mean, of course, Engineer Explosives on three would be a problem, but they've got a lot of ways to bounce this. Well, actually, maybe not if they don't have access to blue. Could be useful, though, just for the uh, Prowess Pump. Yeah, I think that other keeping that other season pyromancer was definitely important. Now let's see the play here. So I'm gonna go for season power. I'm gonna go for monastery Swiss beer. Actually, it's a. Uh, I really want to lava dart this soldier. Yeah, I'm going to Lava Dart the Soldier, and I'm actually going to light up the stage in my turn. I'm going to pay full price. I think, uh, yeah, not bad. I do think that uh, given what, what we drew, this probably was the most efficient use of the mana. Force of Negation, force, playing Force of Negation on a flashback Lava Dart has got to be the worst feeling ever, but I think that's what's going to happen. Nope. Oh, that was reasonable. They get a basic island out of this. But they're going to take a shit ton of damage. Pardon the French. So even if they bounce this, um, I could just replay it. Although kind of making me wish I would have played another Blood Moon. But developing my mana is good too. The other option would have been to play Light Up the Stage uh, at end of turn, or on the second main phase after uh, the creatures connected. Would have been reduced by two, I could have put Obosh in hand, and then I could have played Obosh next turn, and that would have been lethal. But I think I've got lethal anyway here, I've got exactly lethal. I'm guessing this is a Teferi. Which I think will be able to be dealt with. <clears throat> it's got to be a horrible feeling, but it might actually be correct to bounce the season pyromancer. If so, oh, what am I saying? Um, probably correct to bounce the blood moon if they have some type of removal spell. I, um, yeah, I mean, I, I like this position because I don't think they can both wrath and unless they've got an anger of the gods, I don't think they can both wrath and um. I'm going to put on top, uh, just because of just how powerful Blood Moon is. Uh, that might have been a mistake, though, because I could just win with a spell. I 
one for that means they got force negation. So obviously we got another blood moon. I, you know, I mean, if they, even if they do, this is where having another one comes in handy. Oh, we shall see. May have another. May have another Aether Gust, but they don't have another green mana though. I think it might be time to start putting these on the bottom. I probably should have last turn. I'm guessing he's got a green green source. Oh, no. Alright, well, valiant effort. But uh, my draws proved to be a little too good that game. Alrighty.